Hi YouTube, today's video is about the import cert declaration which is a one more step very recently added into Sabir system. Most of the people are asking me that they are making their product, they are adding their product into their Sabir account and then they go to issue the COC certificate. But what happens is that they don't, they are not able to find out their product in their COC column. The reason is that you have to make import sub declaration first, otherwise your product doesn't appear. So most of the people are asking me that there is their product is not showing when they create their product. It doesn't show into the uh, certificate column like when they are going to issue the certificate. Either it's a non-regulated shipment, you don't need to issue as you all know that for non-regulated shipment you don't need to issue the COC certificate. It goes directly to the shipment certificate which is called SC. So when people goes to uh, issue their SC without COC, they get confused. They say that our product is not showing in SC column, then what should we do? So there is one small step which we have to follow. You have to issue the import cert declaration of your product. Once this import cert declaration is done, then you can uh, you will be able to issue the final thing. So let us go and check it out how we can issue import cert declaration. Once, uh, like for people, most of the people, maybe their product is not showing in Sabir system. So the reason import sub declaration is not being issued. So let's go and check it out how to issue the import sub declaration. It's nothing issued. It just have to follow a few steps and then it will make uh, import sub declaration. And then you can proceed to the third step of COC printing or shipment certificate printing fourth step. Let's go and check it out. Okay, first thing first, we have to go to sabi.sa and click on e-services, which is the main thing. And then after e-services, you have to go to directly import self-declaration. You can see it's on the end of this page. And once I click on import self-declaration, then it shows me the products which I have already made. In the previous steps, I show you how to make the product. So you just have to click on the product, select the product and then select free trade products so what are the products you have added whatever then you can add the product into self declaration like you have one shipment is coming and uh, it has three four products which are coming in this shipment so you make uh, you can make self declaration for all the uh, you will have to add all the product individually and then you have to come here after that adding it you have to add the model number of that product just to share the self declaration and then click on save and once you click on save it will show you the model number here in cyber portal like liner 103 now i create the certificate just to show you how many product you have you can add as many product as you want as per the shipment which is coming and create certificate once it's done it will be you will be able to uh, uh, make the shipment certificate after that before that shipment certificate will not show so now let's see if it is showing in shipment request or not when we click on model number let's suppose uh, whatever the product we made xyz let's search that product this product liner 1013c here is showing before it was not showing so now we'll select that product and click on next and add the bill so you can see the shipment certificate we can create now very easily and then all the steps of creation of shipment certificate you can follow how reference number then you have to give your bill date and then you have to do the bill number as per the supplier invoice and after that you have to show the invoice value these all details are mentioned in the supplier invoice most of the people ask me where to find these details this is exactly the replica of your invoice whatever the currency mentioned whatever the invoice value and all the details mentioned in your invoice supplier invoice you have to write it here and then browse the file and attach your file as per the requirement the bill which was generated and then here you have to mention the supplier name whatever the supplier is like you have any xyz supplier in china or wherever it is then you have to give the shipping address of your supplier 
that it is from where which country which city complete address of your supplier should be given here and after that click on add and you can say it's saved successfully so this is what the procedure is uh, I hope it's very easy and understandable for everybody after that you have to choose your product add the bills and then you have to follow the third step complete the data and then send the request in this way your shipment request will be sent most of the people were asking that they are not able to send create shipment certificate so this is the step which is mandatory without this uh, certificate declaration you cannot make your shipment certificate that's it thank you for watching the video i hope you have i hope you have received everything step by step very clearly if anything is missing and if you anything you don't understand you can write me anytime youtube at myfred.biz first thing if you are if you have any question about the same query you just write it in the comment section so that i'll be able to answer and most people who are having the same problem they will also see and they will also understand the same thing thank you goodbye take care and masalama